It's an interesting question with regards to, to seizure medications. Um, the, your risk of seizure varies greatly depending on, on the severity of the traumatic brain injury. Those with mild or, uh, brain injuries like a concussion, probably their risk of seizures is not much higher than the general population at 5% or less. Uh, in people with much more severe brain injuries, particularly if there's a skull fracture and, and dural penetration, where there's actually a penetration into the brain, the risk can be as high as 25 to 50%. Uh, so that in itself certainly plays a role in, in making decisions on seizure medications. The standard of treatment in people who haven't had any seizures would be to continue seizure medication for just one week. Uh, and not to continue seizure medication long, longer than that. Uh, there's no good data to say that if you keep people on seizure medication longer, that that will prevent them from having a seizure. There's some in interesting research data to say actually that, that seizure medications can prevent seizure me seizures, prevent people from having seizures long term. In people who have known seizures, you certainly want to start them on, a, on an appropriate seizure medication. The downside, I'd say, to, to just keeping people on seizure medication without it being, without a clear reason for it, is that what are the side effects of most seizure medications? Memory problems, fatigue, uh, difficulty with arousal. Uh, what are the common problems that we see after brain injury? Memory problems, fatigue, difficulty, arousal. And so unfortunately, seizure medications can really compound some of the common problems that we see after traumatic brain injury. So best I can, I try to get, unless there's a clear indication for it, I try to get people off seizure medications.